Hey guys, Pastor Tanner here coming at you with another Logos video. In this video, I'm going to be going into the preacher libraries that are coming out with the new Logos subscription on the 21st. Now, we already did a video on the leader libraries. These preacher libraries, I believe, are meant to be wed with the pro subscription. That said, however, you can obviously pick up whatever library you would like and some combos that I think are particularly good. Now, before I get into the video, I do want to say that these libraries are subject to change, but as far as I know, know this is what is going to be launching on the 21st with the new subscription model now if we take a look at this table you can see that the preacher libraries do not have a starter option instead it starts with bronze and goes up from there and you can also see that bronze is a fairly low price point compared to silver and beyond so what's very interesting about these libraries is that you still have a very low option of entry if you want to jump in once we get to the researcher libraries they start at silver and go up from there so if you want only a very small library this might be the spot for you. Of course, the standard libraries have the full suite, so you might look at the upcoming video that we're going to be doing on the standard libraries. So again, going off of retail price, we have bronze at $89.99. We have silver at $349.99, gold at $849.99, platinum at $14.99.99, and then finally diamond at $2,999.99. However, again, remember that your first purchase with the subscription is 30% off, and that works for multiple libraries. So do your research ahead of time, figure out all the libraries you want, and then with your subscription, go ahead and bundle them all together. One purchase, 30% off the entire thing. Again, what are you getting with these add-on libraries? You're usually getting large commentary sets, so I like to point those ones out because that's where a lot of your value lies. If you like the commentary sets that are offered in that library, it's going to be a good buy. The Preacher's Library are generally aimed at regular preachers and teachers, pastors, and so you're going to see that these commentaries are a little bit more advanced than what we saw in the leader libraries, but not the super most in-depth academic works out there. Many of the resources in these libraries are for one of two things, preaching and teaching or counseling. There are actually a lot of counseling resources in some of the later libraries. I'll try to point those out. So let's go ahead and jump on in now. Preacher Library Bronze. Now what's unique about both bronze libraries that I've reviewed at this point, they are light in the way of commentaries. And that can actually be a benefit if you already have a lot of commentaries or you don't think you're going to need very many commentaries. Here Preacher Bronze offers quite a bit in the way of original languages. So if your subscription doesn't have enough original language resources in it or you don't have enough already, this might be an attractive option. First I got to highlight the theological lexicon of the Old Testament and the New Testament. These two resources are really nice to reference. Now, this is not Kittle, the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament. That's a pretty famous work, but these works are still really good, and frankly, sometimes Kittle is overkill, especially for the regular preacher. Now, what these resources do is they explain the original language words, and they often go a little bit more in-depth into your typical lexicon. They give you some of the theological background, some Bible verses as references, and early literature that you are probably going to find helpful in terms of trying to explain a particular word to your congregation. I find the comments in these resources to be much more preachable than BDAG or Haylot, and so because of that, I often turn to these first. Don't get me wrong, in-depth lexicons are good for certain kinds of work, but these resources are really good if you need some material that you can take with you into the pulpit. Now, continuing along similar lines, I really like the Theological Word Book of the Old Testament. This resource comes from Moody. It actually wasn't available in Logos Bible Software for the longest time, but recently they got the licensing to it. It is fantastic in Logos, and this is kind of a legendary resource out there. This thing is even more accessible than the theological lexicons I just referenced. It's very preachable. The explanations happen to be in-depth while at the same time being accessible, and you're going to really like the Bible verses that are referenced here as well. Fantastic resource. Third, I want to highlight two resources by J.N.D. Kelly. These are early Christian creeds and early Christian doctrines. Now, both of these resources are fairly large. I believe over 400 pages in each of the volumes. These are meant to get you a little bit more accessibility to the early church fathers, Nicene Creed, early doctrines in the church. Now, I know this is not going to be for everyone's background or persuasion, but if you're in a particular context where creeds are really highly emphasized, you happen to be Presbyterian or one of these denominations that are really focused on the confessions, I think these resources are going to really come in handy for you. All right, let's go on to Silver Preacher now. This is where the price bump is substantial, but you're getting a lot of commentaries now in this library. Now, I do have to point out you get Tyndale here. 
and the ESV expository commentary. I already covered these in the leader video, so I'm not going to go in depth about them, but they're really good. Know that they're here. An overlooked resource that I want to highlight here is the biblical illustrator from Joseph Excel. This is the Old Testament. The New Testament actually comes later in gold, but this resource is often overlooked, but I like it very much. Now, the reason you might miss it is because it's a public domain work from the late 1800s. However, what the author has done is compiled many different commentaries, many different sermons from godly men of the past, and they were godly men of the past during this day and age. So many of these are really interesting quotes that you might not find anywhere else. And of course, the way these preachers and teachers often wrote is very quotable. These are going to have that air, that gravitas that you're often looking for in the pulpit when you're really trying to hammer home a point for your congregation. Not only that, I really like how these authors write because they often get me thinking along different lines, and that helps me come up with my own fresh creative ideas. Now, I want to highlight two more original language resources that make their debut here in silver. I said in bronze, we have the theological lexicon of the Old Testament and New Testament. Here we have abridged Kittle, and we have the abridged Dictionary of Classical Hebrew. Now, if you are an avid book reader, you might have learned to hate abridgments, right? Why would I want the abridged Kittle when I can get the 10 volume set? And generally, I can agree with that. But I want you to know that each of these abridgments are very handy for the busy pastor, preacher, or teacher. I have often spent a lot of time reading in depth in the Dictionary of Classical Hebrew, for example, and I realized that I could have got all the value I needed out of the abridgment, and I wouldn't have wasted all that time. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the study myself, but I'm finding more and more in our day and age, it's really important to hone in and narrow down on the material that is going to be of most value to you. So for that, I really like the abridgments, and I like that they're gathered up here in silver. I generally find Kittle, the New Testament version, to be better than the Dictionary of Classical Hebrew, the Old Testament version, but they're both really good. All right, let's move on to Gold Preacher. This one is another significant price bump, but you are getting a lot in this library. I already mentioned Joseph Excel's Biblical Illustrator. Here you're getting the New Testament as well, so you got the full set now. But here's a resource I want to point out, the Preacher's Outline and Sermon Bible. Now, I already spoke about the Teacher's Outline and Sermon Bible in the previous video, but the Preacher's Outline and Sermon Bible is very intriguing. When this first came to Logos, I want you to know this is one of the few resources that I deliberately sought out on its own and purchased it outright, not waiting for it to be part of a library. I love the outlines in this resource. They can save you a ton of time, especially when you're trying to compose an outline for your sermon. Not only that, if you utilize the tool in Logos, the Bible Outline Browser, this is one of the best resources to feed directly into that tool because it breaks the text down so well for you. This resource is super useful for the preacher who needs help with organization. And do not underestimate organization when it comes to putting together your sermons, your lessons, and and you're preaching because if you are really organized with the material you're presenting, your people are going to be able to follow you and glean much more from the word. All right, now moving on to the Apollos Old Testament commentary set. Now this commentary set is very interesting. When I first learned about it, I heard it billed as pillar, but for the Old Testament. Now for my thoughts, I see it more as a cross between pillar and the WBC, the word biblical commentary set, but it's still a really good commentary. Now one of the advantages or perhaps disadvantages of this set is that it is a tad more scholarly than your you're usually getting in many of your preacher commentaries. This might be good because it's actually fleshing out a part of your library that you don't really have, or it might be bad if you struggle with some of the more scholarly or academic information. Let's move on now to Philip Schaff in the Early Church Fathers. I believe this is the Protestant version that's being offered here. This is another one of those public domain works published before 1900, but don't write it off. If you enjoy following the principle of ad fontes to the sources, here is a perfect opportunity to go directly to some of those early church fathers. And when you couple all of these resources with the searchability of the smart search and the synopsis, this is really powerful for understanding what the early church fathers said on a particular verse or topic. Now, sure, there are some more recent collections that have released these works from these early church fathers. But honestly, barring some introduction by a modern scholar, oftentimes these aren't adding that much more value. And here you can go back to those resources at a fraction of the cost. Finally, before we move on to platinum, I do want to highlight a new set of resources. I believe these are brand new to the Lagos ecosystem. These are from New Growth Press, and they're the Christian Counseling and Education formation books. These often come in the form of mini books. These mini books are 20 to 30 pages a piece and they cover some specific topic. Now the great thing about these books is that they cover a ton of different topics. So yeah, they're only 20 to 30 pages, but you're covering so many things that are going to be really helpful for you in counseling. 
If you're called to counseling or offering practical helps to people, I think you're really going to like these resources and they're going to be easier than ever to leverage because of the smart search. All right, let's go on to Platinum. Look at this library closely. There's a lot being offered here, but again, let me give you some highlights. First, I like to see the UBS handbooks offered here. Now, I believe these are originally billed as translator handbooks. So they have a lot of comments surrounding original words and trying to get to the sense of them. But that's not all these handbooks do. They also have really good comments and good explanations regarding the text as well. Honestly, if you feel like you need a little bit of help navigating the original languages and the implications for us as English readers, you're really going to like these resources. Another one on the original language front is the Greek lexicon Liddell Scott Jones. Now, before there was BDAG 3rd edition, there was LSJ, all right? Liddell Scott Jones for a long time was known as the New Testament lexicon to be looking into. And frankly, even after the release of BDAG 3rd edition, some still prefer LSJ to this day. In this resource, you're going to find a lot of great information regarding the original Greek words. But I want you to know, if you're going to get full value out of this resource, you're going to need some early Greek resources, perhaps from the Perseus Library or the Great Books of the Western World. This is because LSJ is constantly comparing to these early Greek resources. And if you want the hyperlink so you can navigate straight there, you need these resources in Logos. Also at this level, we actually get a magazine. This is Christianity Magazine. It it dates back to 1984 and it has 176 volumes so far as I can tell. Now this is a very unique resource, but how are you going to leverage it? In the past, I found that unless I was searching journals in particular, I was not able to get much value out of a lot of these old magazines. And I know I keep saying it, but again, Smart Search is going to help you leverage these resources so much. What you might do is go ahead and confine your collection to the 176 volumes of Christianity Magazine and search for specific theological topics, events, ideas, etc. And why this is going to help is these articles are often written at a very accessible level and you are going to find these interesting to read and you're going to pull out some gold nuggets for your congregation in your sermons. One final resource I want to highlight here is Gradanus's Foundations for Expository Preaching. These are often titled something like Preaching Christ from dot dot dot, Preaching Christ from dot dot dot. These resources straddle the line between a monograph and a commentary, and sometimes each volume dabbles in each area. They're very intriguing, they can be read cover to cover, and often they have a lot of very interesting information. This is the sort of resource that you can really sink your teeth into, and if you were reading one of these over the course of a month, for example, while you were preaching in between, you're going to find a lot of great information. Platinum has so much good stuff, really. Opening up series, preaching the word, teacher's outline and study Bible, the EP study comment commentary, pulpit commentary from Spence, Bible knowledge background commentary. I could go on and on a really nice library here. And if you didn't think platinum offered enough, here we are topping out the preacher libraries with Diamond. Now the first resource I have to highlight in Diamond is Pillar. This is one of the best commentary sets out there. I'm currently preaching through John and Carson's commentary is the commentary I reference each week if I can only reference one. But it's not just Carson. So many titles in this commentary series are really, really good. And even the ones that aren't number one or number two are usually in the top five or top ten at least. This commentary set strikes the perfect balance between academic and accessible. There's a reason this set is at this high level of diamond it is excellent and it will be a huge advantage to preachers another great resource for preachers are a massive collection of sermon outlines that are put out by baker not only that there's some sermon starters that are put out by butler as well that serve a similar purpose now some use these outlines quite a bit others are very loath to use them but these resources can be really helpful if you're trying to get going on developing your outline from a particular pericope this goes back to my organization comment from before facts are that organization is huge for teeing up your ideas in a way that is accessible for people that they can actually grasp. So as long as you're not abusing these and instead you're using them as enablers to expand your own studies, I see them as useful. And there are several other resources in this level like this. Check out Daughtery's Message Builder series as well. Another commentary set we get at this level is the Christ-Centered Exposition Commentary series. These often have Exalting Jesus in the front of them, Exalting Jesus in Colossians or whatever book you happen to be reading. Now these haven't been in Logos very long so far as I know. And this is one of the few sets that I actually was going out of my way to acquire in print before they were brought into the Logos ecosystem. Again, these resources strike a really good balance between being accessible and yet insightful. And I think you're really going to love these ones because they add a lot to your lessons and your sermons. Another resource you get at this level that I have highlighted before is the Wiley Blackwell series. These are also relatively new. I think they came out with Logos 10 and they are hit or miss for me, but when they hit, they really do hit. The unevenness for me is more than 
made up for by the fact that these resources are really unique, okay? They often go into the history or background of how a particular verse was used in teaching and preaching in the past. Often they add a perspective that you won't get elsewhere. I will say this is never the first commentary set I go to, but if I'm going to be referencing five to ten commentaries, I almost always reference this one. Finally, I have to highlight the new studies in biblical theology series. This series has been growing over time, and I couldn't be more thrilled. I believe that Carson is the primary editor on this series, and there are so many great monographs in this set. In a previous church we attended, they actually had everyone do a study on the Leviticus volume, and my wife loved going through this study. It was so insightful for her. Now, I want you to know these are hard to reference on a short basis because the themes in these resources often run throughout. You usually need to read the full book to understand the thrust of the argument. To that end, these are great for extended study to keep yourself sharp in the pulpit. All right, what are my final thoughts on the preacher libraries? Well, I like these sets overall, and I feel like Logos did a good job hitting their target audience. My three favorite buys here are similar to the leaders libraries, but a little bit different. First of all, if you like the platinum or diamond library, I would pair that with the pro subscription. There are really great commentaries at the platinum and diamond level, but they are so geared towards preachers, I just feel like you're really going to want the sermon assistant along with it. And so for that reason, I have to recommend the pro subscription. I don't think the premium subscription will be enough for most users at this point. My second best buy leverages the fact that this set still includes a bronze library. The bronze libraries are a fraction of the price of the silver libraries. So if you are on a budget and you're looking to build a very streamlined library, you might like the bronze library offered here. In order to offset the fact that you're not getting a lot of commentaries with a bronze library, I'd get the max subscription. And what's really cool is that in Bronze Preacher here, you have a lot more original language works than you did in Leader Bronze. So I find this setup more robust getting the max subscription with Bronze Preacher. Finally, if you're looking for a good value option, I like the Pro subscription paired with Silver. I think this setup strikes a really nice balance. The Pro subscription is going to get you what you want from the Sermon Assistant, but your Silver Library is going to really flesh things out with a nice set of commentaries. Not only that, you get an original language boost here as well. So I like pro subscription plus silver if you know what you want and you don't want too much library bloat. All right, that's it for my Preacher Libraries overview. If you enjoyed this video, please consider utilizing my affiliate link down in the description. It gets me a small commission. And as always, I appreciate your love and support here at Pastor Tanner Biblical Studies. Please keep a lookout for our Researcher Libraries overview very soon. Take care. God bless. Bye.